Welcome back to Lombardi Engineering. Today we're going to be making another part of the mouse. It's going to be the suspension. Now there are 12 assemblies that go on the full mouse. Today we're going to step through one assembly. Not only because it would take a long time, it's a lot of parts and they're sort of complex, but also because I only have enough parts for one of the assemblies. All right. So firstly, we'll introduce the parts. There's the suspension bar which goes across and connects to the side skirts as well as the hull. Next we've got the rocker. The rocker attaches to the suspension bar and there are two of them that attach to the suspension bar. It rocks back and forth. It has an inlet here for the spring and that has another uh, hole for attaching to the lower suspension. The lower suspension also has a recess for the spring and then it has two holes that will be filled with shoulder screws and the wheels will mount to that. Road wheels, there are going to be four to each set and that's all for the 3D printed pieces. For the pieces that you have to go out and buy we've got R156 bearings. They're very tiny, they have a 3 16 inch bore and then like 5 16 on the outside um, for the outer diameter. We have three different types of shoulder screws. They are all 3 16 um, 832, but they come in the lengths for the shoulder of 5 16 one half an inch, and three quarters of an inch. Um, total, you've got basically two of each of those per set, uh, four road wheels per set, two lower suspensions per set, two rockers per set, and one suspension bar. So let's dive right into it. Firstly, you take the suspension bar, get your 516 solder screws, take two rockers, get yourself a properly fitted <laughs> Allen key, then you're going to insert the 516 shoulder screw in from the outside through the top hole of the rocker and just tighten it up because you will be tapping your own threads into the material which means don't tighten it too much or else you'll break things same for the other side the orientation is the same between the two that's how it was on the real mouse just pay attention to that. Screws goes in from the opposite direction, same way, through that little recess right there that's shaped to the, uh, the head of the shoulder screw. Install it. Tighten it, but don't tighten too tight. Gorgeous. We now have the top part of the suspension all worked out. You can already see it moving back and forth, up and down, whatever you want. Next, we'll take are two pieces of the lower suspension. Lower suspension has this large recess that will meet to the bottom of the rocker and just insert like that. Pretty easy. That's how it's going to be attached. First though, we have to get our um, road wheels ready because these are going to be integral into installing the bolt-on. We take our uh, 156 bearings, and we're going to use two of them per road wheel. We're also going to take super glue and we're going to put a little dab inside of the inner race of the wheel, which will allow us to keep the bearings in place because we don't want it to push back and forth and off. The, the tolerances on these wheels are like exact, so they're not a push fit. Um, so, yeah, keep that in mind. Super glue gonna be your best friend. Just a little tiny dab. Work it around a little bit so that it doesn't end up pushing up. Alright, get one bearing in there. Seat it. Get another bearing in the other side. Always use the proper tools. Fantastic. Got one. Let's check it for how it rotates. Wow. 
that's pretty good. Okay, so we got one wheel. I'll fast forward to getting all of these wheels done and then meet back up with you. Back. We're going to be getting our four road wheels ready to go. We got bearings in them. They look great. I've already tested them for if they fit on the shoulder screws. Everything's good. We take our three quarter and we take our half inch to complete the set. One side is the three quarter, the other side is the half inch. Don't mess that up. It'll be kind of obvious, but I hope you, you still get it. Um, anyway, the first road wheel is going to be installed on the outside of the carriage. And you're going to be putting, uh, you see there's a divot on one side and on the other there's a recess. You're going to be putting the divot towards the, the lower suspension. So take our three quarters here because we have to span a pretty large gap. Get it in and then install. All right, and there's one. Next, we're going to take another road wheel and we're going to do just the exact same thing, but on the inside with a half inch shoulder screw. Just like so. Alright, that one's pretty secure. Let's do the other side too. Lower suspension, same orientation as the other one. We're going to move this out of the way so that we can get proper access to the, the three quarter shoulder screw and the location that it has to be. Insert that through insert the little assembly that we've made all the way through and then start tightening it down applying just enough pressure so that we get through to the other side and start Ooh. and I just made a mistake there, I was rushing so, I'm gonna undo the work I just did insert the road wheel the correct way with the recess with the bolt head and then reinstall you don't want to do this too many times because each time you cut threads into the plastic you're probably going to be making new threads instead of going into the old ones which is not good for the life of the material. Same thing that we did before recess facing into the suspension I mean the, the extended portion facing inside towards the suspension. The recess will have the shoulder screw's head in there. And then install. Looking very good. Now, if you were really, really good, what you'd do is you'd take metal shims and place them in between all of these different areas, something like 1,000th so that it's not plastic on plastic um, because then you'd have like everything really tightened down not, not so much tightened down but it wouldn't have as much slop as it does now because plastic on plastic has a lot of friction especially with the layer lines of the 3D printed material but we've got that, I'm gonna get some springs out got our assortment of springs Choose one that looks good. And they're going to go into the recess right here. Bada bing. Bada boom. Bada boom. Got it. Alright, so you can see that. Squishy, squishy. Squishy, squishy. Everything is free to rotate, move, rock, roll around, whatever you want, so be it. We have clearance for them to work independently, even though they're not going to, <laughs> because that would be terrible. That would mean you have a split track. And when you squeeze it down, like so, it does what it's supposed to. You can lift up, and it all moves correctly. And it's good. Pretend like you have it on the track. There it goes. And our 
it up. It's just like that. Sounds like it's going to be pretty loud. But that's fine, because loud is okay, non-functional is not okay. If anything, it'll sound cooler, because it's got like the click, 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 click that a real tank would have. Awesome. I hope you're excited to continue your own mouse project. I sure am. Uh, I'm hoping that you're enjoying the models. If you are, please subscribe, like the video, and etc. so that we can get the word out and have more people making awesome tanks. Thanks for tuning in. My name's Joe, this has been Lombardi Engineering, and have a great day.